Hi, here's a more recent AFC example on complex numbers. How many non-zero complex numbers z have the property that 0, z, and z cubed, when represented by points in the complex plane, are the three distinct vertices of an equilateral triangle? Now, I don't fully grasp this question yet, and I'm already suspicious that z might be on the unit circle. So let me tell you why. It has to do with where the complex number is coming from. It's coming from a random source. I suppose it could be anywhere. But if it's coming from an aim C or aim question, then I think there's about a one-third chance that it's on the unit circle in some shape or form. So watch out for that tendency. As usual, let's draw some pictures to better understand the problem and see how far we get. Since we're not asked to solve for any particular solution, we might get to an answer with just pictures. Now I always start easy, so let's place z on the unit circle in quadrant one, some angle theta, and just try to locate where z cubed is. By DeMoff's theorem, we know that z cubed is located at three theta, which creates a gap angle of two theta. So that's very promising, because it looks like we already have the makings for an isosceles triangle, and it seems as though we could jimmy the position of z along the unit circle to stretch out z cubed to create a matching third side. And this also confirms our suspicion, because if we started with z outside the unit circle, then z cubed would stretch in magnitude such that this really doesn't have an opportunity to form an equilateral triangle. So it looks like z has to be on the unit circle. It also looks like we got pretty close here. We chose theta of about 20 degrees that made the gap angle 40 degrees. So it doesn't take too much imagination to realize that a z at 30 degrees would park z cubed at 90 degrees. And that would form a gap angle of 60 degrees. And that would be our first solution for an equilateral triangle. Now what happens when z advances further? So it looks like when z advances further, z cubed will race away, but z cubed has a chance to lap up and catch up with z. So let's see where that happens. It looks like when z gets to 180 degrees, z cubed will have raced away to three times 180 or 540 degrees. So it looks like when z is at 180 degrees, z cubed will have caught up and be coincident. But what happens before then? Before then, z would be back here somewhere. z cubed will have not caught up and be back here somewhere. And again, I don't know the exact angles, but it looks like we can choose the location of z so that z cubed is back 60 degrees to form yet another equilateral triangle, our second solution. So now what happens when z gets past 180 degrees? z cube will race ahead once again. And at some point, we should be able to form another 60 degree angle to form our third solution. Now, if we follow this analysis further, we might find that there's another solution in quadrant four, but once z reaches 360 degrees, we are done finding unique and distinct values of z. So we know that the number of solutions is finite so we can eliminate choice E. We've already determined that we have more than two choices. So our answer for this question is D4. Anyway, I hope that helped and good luck on the upcoming exam. Bye-bye.